Which you guys got another video on how to mirror your phone screen to your PC wirelessly with no apps needed. Now you are going to need to make sure that all devices are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. That is really important, otherwise it won't work. Once you've done that, you want to head over to either your laptop or your PC and make sure you are connected to the Wi-Fi. As you can see right here, down the bottom right hand side, I am connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now to set this up, we're going to need to get an optional feature installed onto the system. It is part of Windows, so you're not actually downloading any software. It's actually built into Windows. We just need to enable that feature. Now to do this, you're going to need to go to the search box and do a search for optional feature, just like so. And once you've done this, you can click on the optional features in the system settings panel. You can either navigate to it that way or search for it. Once you're in the system and optional features panel, what you need to do here is go up to the very top where it says view features. This is to add an optional feature. We're going to view these and in the search box, we're just going to type in here wireless display. Once wireless display shows up here, there's no check mark in it, so it needs to be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and check mark this and click next. And then we can click add and it will add the wireless display feature to our system. Now this does also work on Windows 10, but we're just going to go ahead and click this onto Windows 11 and you can see it's installing it onto our system. So it's already there. We just need to enable the feature. Next, what we're going to do here is restart the PC because it's important that we restart the PC because this feature needs to be installed and updated on our system. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And I'm just going to close this box off and quickly restart the laptop. Now I'm using a screen catcher here so I can show you this, but this is actually on a laptop. So I'm going to restart the laptop here. And once it restarts, you'll probably see it wants to update the system. And that's perfectly fine. That's normal. And once this is updated, it will then start to boot into our desktop. So we'll just let this update. I'll speed this process up because it does take a bit of time because there is updates for this system as well. And now we're booting up to the desktop. Now, once we're at the desktop, we're going to need to get our mobile phone and we're going to need to turn on the actual feature inside our mobile phone. Now, these features are different for each an individual phone. So it could be Smart View on a Samsung, it could be cast, it could be screencast, it could be screen mirroring, wireless display, airplay. All of these are named differently for the, each different phone that you might be using. So pull down on the top on this phone and you'll see it. Smart View right here. Your TV will come up right here. So just tap that. You'll get a message on your screen on your TV to say accept. Once you accept that, it will start to connect. And now you can see we are connected to our TV, like so. Now, I couldn't capture this on the capture card because it went off. So I'm just quickly showing you the screen with a camera. But you can see you can navigate through your phone. Now, there is a bit of lag here. You're not going to be able to play games on this feature. But what it's for is to quickly share photos with family members in your home on your TV. Or maybe that you want to do a tutorial and quickly show the phone screen. So it is possible to do, but it's not useful for gaming or anything like that because the lag will be quite bad. But it does work for those reasons. So that is pretty much it. That is a quick video on how to mirror your phone screen to a PC or to a TV wirelessly with no added uh, software needed. And this works for many different TVs, whether it'll be an LG TV, a Sony TV, or whether it be another brand of TV, it should work for all different types of TVs. As long as you've got a smart TV, it should have that feature built into it. If your TV isn't a smart TV, then it's not going to work because it does need that feature to be able to wirelessly connect to your TV. So you could use some form of dongle like uh, from Google or one of these other ones that you can purchase. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just a quick video for today. Quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.